This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called More About Changing Fonts and Font Size Using WordPress. I did a tutorial a few days ago about changing fonts and font size and it may have been a little confusing so I wanted to follow up with a simpler explanation of the technique um, given there. Here's what we're talking about. Uh, would like to show you how to change a font. There's no way to do this uh, that I'm aware of in WordPress itself right now. I looked for some plugins that might be able to do it and I was not able to find any of those. So let's take a look at the uh, visual editing window here and I'm just going to put some sample text. This is a paragraph and this is a heading. Okay. Um, now, you can format text by highlighting, and I'll show you this. Uh, this is using the advanced text editing toolbar. Um, both of these pieces of text right now are just in the paragraph format. But if I highlight, say, you can't really see that unless I blow it up. Okay, if I highlight this is a heading, then I can go to the format menu here, and you see right now it's set as paragraph. But if I select heading, this is actually heading one, okay, that pumps it up quite a bit. So this is what's known as an H1 uh, heading in the HTML and we can see that if we go to the HTML editing window uh, in WordPress 2.5 now the what used to be the code editing window is called HTML editing window so I click on that okay and I think you can see that and pump it up once more um, so we have this is a paragraph that bit of text and then this is a heading now has the H1 tags on either side of it. Okay, so we can change the font too if we want to, but we've got to do that uh, using the HTML code editing window and some code called CSS or cascading style sheets. So let's see how you do that. Okay, now this is actually, um, you know, I talk about this in the tutorial on Business Blogging 101. If you need to find this site, if you're looking at the tutorial using YouTube, um, it's at mcbuzz.wordpress.com or just try this, go to Google and Google Business Blogging 101 like that and you'll find us here second listing on the page, Business Blogging 101. Okay. So that's the site for these tutorials. And we talk about inserting font format. Um, and I give you some examples uh, that you can try. These are called font stacks. Uh, and there's a link here in the tutorial as well to a site called cephalra.com where he gives a nice little discussion of cascading style sheets and uh, the different font stacks, as he calls them, um, that you can use. So I'm going to pull one of these out of the list here. Font family times New Roman times and serif. Okay, and I've got that blown up a little bit larger so you can look at it. Um, here's what I'm talking about in the H1 tag. Okay, so you can insert that it's a uh, style equals and then quote font family times new roman etc second quote and that goes in this beginning h1 tag so let's try that i'm going to copy that 
go to my uh, HTML text editing window. Okay, you can see that pretty well. Click in the H1 tag right there between the one and the right bracket and insert the formatting for the font. Now, um, let's have a look at that. I'll save that. Okay, that's done. Um, we'll go out here. Oh, no, we won't because it's not published. So I'll look at preview. Okay, if you can see that, I've got this is a heading, but it's obviously in a different font. That's Times New Roman than the headings are here. Okay, these are sans serif, and this is a serif font. And here's our, this is a paragraph text, and that hasn't changed yet. So let's go back and we'll look at that. Here's the, this is a paragraph. Now, as I said, um, when text is formatted as a paragraph, it doesn't have the P tag that designates it as a paragraph when you're looking at it in the text editing window. Okay, so you have to add that if you want to format that text. So here's what we would do. Um, essentially, we're going to use the same font family uh, property, okay? But we're going to click in front of this is a paragraph and add the P tag. So P space. I guess I don't really need that space in there. I'm going to insert the font formatting. Okay, and then I have to be sure on the other end here to add the right bracket and then on the other side of my text I'm going to put the left bracket forward slash P and then right bracket so that's called the closing P tag and here is the the opening P tag with the style okay so that's all set to go now this this text this is a paragraph is going to be font uh, times new Roman as well Okay, so save that. Uh, done. Preview. Blow that up a little bit so you can see. Really large. So there's our heading in the Times New Roman. There's our paragraph. This is a paragraph in Times New Roman. Okay. And that's about it. If you want to play around with that, obviously it's not too hard to do. Um, just be sure that you remember to, in the case of a paragraph, insert that P, opening P tag, and then put the closing P on the other side. Okay, or um, let's look at this in the visual editing window again. Okay, there's my, this is a heading. I can always format that using the formatting uh, drop-down menu here. Say so I wanted to make it heading 3 instead of 1. Now it's smaller. Okay, like that. And you can play around with those. Um, now when I put it on H3, of course, the font formatting went away. So you have to be careful with that. See, it took it out and it's now just H3 without the font format. I'd have to go back and grab that. If I want to keep it and paste it in there. Don't. Okay. That's how you format a font using WordPress and some cascading style sheets. It's called inline cascading style sheets in WordPress.